Here's something that I remember really helped me in my science exams in school. Units are your friends. Why? Because they give you clues as to what you're supposed to do in a question, or at least remind you of something you might have forgotten. Let's say you have a question about a spring, and it asks you to calculate its stiffness, or spring constant, but you've completely forgotten the equation you need. But look, the answer line has a unit on it, n slash m. You should know that that means newtons per metre. And what does per or a slash mean? It means divide. You therefore know that you have to divide newtons, that's force, by extension in metres to find the spring constant. You've just come up with the equation yourself. Spring constant is equal to force divided by extension. There's lots of units like this. Moles per decimeters cubed for concentration. Newton seconds for momentum, that's just force times time. But sometimes it's worth remembering what other units mean. Voltage, or PD, is the same thing as joules per coulomb. So that's energy in joules divided by charge in coulombs. Power is joules per second, so energy divided by time. Current is coulombs per second. By remembering these alternative units, you'll not only better understand what you're learning, but also save time and effort in exams. If you want some more examples of these, have a look at my equations you have to remember for GCSE, even if you don't have to remember them anymore. Hope you found this helpful. Leave a like if you did. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. See you next time.